in the book you have a, a number of personalized stories and it seems like you really like the kind of personalization of the story kind of making sure that kind of you use a family narrative but frequently you also run into these instances where family members know that their relative was a camp slave yet you have neo-confederate movements today who are using whatever mechanisms to present them as confederate soldiers could you elaborate that yeah i mean this is a troubling aspect of this of this myth um one thing i did want to do when i when i wrote the book and i was doing the research is i, I wanted to take people whose views on the civil war as wrong-headed as we might as historians take them to be i, I wanted to listen and i think that's something i learned early on from um from, from reading Tony Horowitz, who I think, you know, in, in, his, in his books, in his research, he listened. And I think when you, when you do that, I mean, I, I'm always interested in sort of how people make meaning of, of, the, of the past. Uh, I think we're all sort of hardwired to do that. And I think many of the people that I, that I talk about in the book are doing just that. I wanted to at least give them um, some space to, to be able to share that. And also, of course, to sort of assess it, assess it as well, to the extent that I can. Um, so yeah, I mean, there are a number of wonderful examples in the book. I mean, my favorite example is an elderly woman by the name of Maddie Rice Clyburn, who was the daughter of an actual a body servant by the name of Weary Clyburn. Um, she passed away in 2014. She was very interested in the history of, of her father. And at one point, the Sons of Confederate Veterans stepped in along with the a archivist at uh, the North Carolina Museum of History and their her story was essentially you know appropriated by the SCV they used it as an opportunity to promote this sort of loyal slave black confederate narrative um, they held a military style uh, funeral for Weary Clyburn at one point and when she passed away the SCV went all out in North Carolina and um, and held a pretty elaborate military style funeral for a real daughter of the confederacy as they as they presented her um, i can sort of appreciate why she would have why she would have allowed this to happen i, I, I whether you know regardless of her own understanding of of the actual history i mean here you have an organization that that wanted to present her ancestor as an honorable brave soldier you know um who wouldn't jump at that opportunity to have an ancestor honored like that um and there are a number of other individuals um you know in the book um nelson winbush who lives in florida um you know he is a member of the sons of confederate veterans um his uh, his ancestor was a body servant even though the scv will claim that he was in fact a soldier uh, and he says things along the same lines that you know he's he uses this as an opportunity to honor his family his, uh, history, to share his family, his family story with his with uh, with his children and grandchildren. So I can certainly sort of appreciate you know how that happens, and and it, I think it speaks to the complexity of memory. I think it also again, like I said earlier, I think it speaks to the fact that we're all you know at some at some point we all find meaning in the past, and right. and I think that's what's going on here. Mm -hmm.